Skadoosh! And welcome back, Joey Moss with Bad Boy Gaming. Star City Games first place. This is definitely a really annoying deck. I've gone up against this build at least two, three dozen times uh, playing on Arena, even playing in paper at local game stores. It is an irritation for sure. We're going to go over the deck. I'm going to show you guys how it works in gameplay. Definitely, in my opinion, one of the most annoying decks out there because of the counter spells, uh, the, the, just the irritation, the card draw ability. Uh, it just keeps tempo, and it's extremely hard to defeat. It really, really is. Let's go over the deck. They're going to run four. Or, uh, this is by Robert Wagner, who came in first place at uh, SCG. Uh, Curious Obsession. This card is one of the one of the cards that just makes it stand out. It, it makes it what it is. It allows for card draw. It also gives a plus one, plus one counter on a creature. But the huge thing, whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. So every time you're hitting him with an unblockable creature or whatever creature, your flyers, you're drawing a card. The more you have on them, Curious Obsession does stack. You have two, you have three, you draw two, you draw three cards. It's really crazy. Um, but of course, at the beginning of your end step, if you didn't attack with the creature this turn, sacrifice Curious Obsession. Don't make that misplay. It happened to me uh, many times before. Not anymore, though. I've really learned and understood the deck. Now we have two dive downs. Dive down. Target creature you control gets plus zero, plus three against high speed until, until end of turn. You want to protect whatever creature you're attacking with, especially any that is equipped with Curious Obsession. Then you have three Mist Cloak Heralds. This card is unblockable. It cannot be blocked. It is the ideal card for you to equip your Curious Obsession to. We're running four ops, which is just a great utility card. Scry one, draw a card. Typically, you want to use it on your opponent's phase. Bluff that you have a counter. Terramander times four. This card is one that is really shining right now. It's even branched out into modern builds. It's ridiculous. Uh, Terramander is a one-drop flyer. Because we are running quite a bit of instants and sorceries, It does. it's a one-one flyer, but it has the eight adapt for four. So if you pay eight, or this ability costs one less to to activate for each instant and sorcery card in your graveyard. Let's say we had six instant and or sorcery cards in our graveyard. It's only going to cost us two to adapt for four. This thing becomes a 5-5. Five, five. Huge threat. Something you want to drop a little later in the game. Unless you think you've really got the game on lock and you want to win a little quicker, you could drop it earlier. Four Siren Storm Tamers flying in for one. Sacrifice Siren Storm Tamer. Counter target spell or ability that targets you or a creature you control. That is huge. You can use this sucker to pr further protect um, your uh, your miscloaked herald, your curious obsession combo piece, or your terramander, whatever the case may be. Anything that you need to counter, and it only takes one to do it just by sacking the storm tamer. Three spell pierces. For, it's a one drop counter target non creature spell unless its controller pays two. This card comes in heavy handy because it's so easy to cast because it's a one drop. Early games, we, we win a lot of matches by turn six. By turn six, usually the match is over. We've won. We have enough cards. We have enough damage dealt. The game is over. Oh, I cannot stand this deck. But uh, Spell Pierce is huge in this build. It's three drop. One blink of an eye. It's got the kicker. Return target nine land permanent to its owner's hand. If the spell was kicked, draw a card. A little bit more card advantage. Odds are, I mean, you're probably not going to come across this too often because you're only having a one drop in the deck. But the fact that you could return a non-land permanent to its owner's hand, something that's getting in your way, causing problems. Maybe you don't have your Miss Cloak Herald out. He has a flyer out, one of them drakes. You can easily just bump it back to his hand. You get your Curious Obsession attached to one of your, uh, your flyer cards that uh, can be blocked. It helps out for that time being. Or any card you need to bounce, really. Or you can even bounce and protect something of your own if you need to. If you want to protect uh, a Tempest Jin, for instance. Chart a course, pretty sweet. Draw two cards and discard a card unless you attack with the creature this turn. I like the versatility on this card because it, you can draw two cards, but then discard a card, which is going to aid um, the acceleration of us casting our Terramander if we're going to discard an instant or sorcery spell. But we would more likely, I'm sure, like to use that instant or sorcery spell. But it's really a chart of course is a very good card to have in hand for card drawability. Essence Capture, two drop. This is another huge one out of Ravnica Allegiance. I underestimated the power of this card, but it is huge. Essence captures a two drop. Only running one in this build. Counter target creature spell. Put a plus one plus one counter on up to one target creature you control. We even use it in examples in this in this gameplay and whatnot. Comes in extremely handy, pumps up a creature, and it's countering a spell. 
pretty ridiculous. Four Merfolk Tricksters, a really neat card. It's a two drop with flash. When Merfolk Trickster enters the battlefield, tap target creature and opponent controls. It loses all abilities its own of turn. You typically, this is a card that you would cast on your opponent's uh, on your opponent's main or second main phase, or at any honestly at any given time. It doesn't matter, not first or second main phase. Just at any given time that it could benefit you, and you tap down its creature. Um, it's pretty neat. It does last until end of turn. But if they're coming out with something hasty or whatever the case may be, whatever the case may be, you need to stop it. <laughs> Merfolk Trickster is on your side. Four Tempest Jins. Flying Tempest Jin gets plus one, plus zero for each basic land you control. We're only running basic lands. You can imagine this thing gets pumped up really, really fast. Uh, four Wizards Retorts. The spell costs one less to cast if you control a wizard. Counter target spell. Play set of those. Countering spells is huge. You can counter anything. As long as we have one of our wizards out, it's even better. We do have one wizard. I'm going to count how many. One wizard. Two wizards. We have a total of, I think, three. Nope, two. Okay, so we're running two total wizards in the build. But we do have a playset set um, of one of them, which is Tempet, or not the Jin, the Merfolk Trickster. And we are running a playset set of the Storm Tamer as well. Very powerful. The sideboard is really something uh, I haven't, I just went best of ones. And I just went like four no best of ones, no problem. We got the Fairy Duelist. Uh, when Fairy Duelist enters, uh, enters the battlefield, target creature and opponent controls gets minus two, minus zero until end of turn. Pretty sweet. Three of the negates. We all like to keep countering stuff, especially if they're running heavy removal. This is great. Search for Ascanta, another nasty card uh, that lets us just seek out what we're looking for in our deck. Three Surge Mares, which comes in real handy against those uh, green decks. Uh, and even other builds as well. Surge Mare gets plus two, minus two until end of turn. Whenever Surge Mare deals damage to an opponent, you may draw a card. If you do, discard a card. Pretty ridiculous. Then we have the Deep Freeze, which is just another element of control to slow our uh, opponent down, especially if he's running a bunch of flyers. Exclusion Mage enters the battlefield, return target creature and opponent controls its owner's hand. Really stupid, really good. If that thing had flash, oh my god. But still, very strong card. Entrancing Melody, if we're going to go later in the game, gain control of target creature with converted mana cost X. This deck shuts him down. Very powerful, guys. Let me know your thoughts on it. Tell me a story about when you went up against it, how annoying it could be. I know it's annoying. I do go against it probably on the daily. Uh, let's get into some gameplay. You're going to want to stick around for this. All right, let's get into a couple matches. See just how good this top deck is. Oh my. There is only a one. There's only one island right now, but everything we have is one drops, so I'm going to consider that a good thing. And we're going to drop the Mist Cloak. Hopefully, we can stumble upon another island because that will really accelerate this deck. For sure, for sure. Ooh, up against Mono Red. That's a threat. We're going to drop Curious Obsession. Drop it on this. He's going to shock it. And then we're going to counter with Spell Pierce. Beautifully executed. Only problem is um, he can drop another shock on us at any moment. And <laughs> we can't do nothing about it. We'll have to go Terramander, Curious Obsession next turn. We are tapped out. Ooh, we did nothing. Dive down. Beautiful. So I think we're going to Curious Obsession yet again on our Mist Cloak. Now that could be countered or shocked. We're going to dive down if need be. He does nothing with it. Perfect. Swing in. That card draw is so big. I said we drop another Miss Cloak, and then we can always dive down on one of them, which the obvious one would be uh, the one that's loaded. He's tapped out right now, so we're going to opt. Mm. I don't think we need that. 
just yet. Ooh, another land. Because we cannot be blocked, we're going to swing in. That card draw is huge. Another island. And a spell pierce. Okay. We got two in the bin right now. I think we want a Terramander. I think we want a Terramander. Just one Terramander for now. Opponent's at 11. We can spell pierce. And we can dive down as well to protect. You can let that resolve. I think we're going to opt. Don't need another land. Folk Trickster is cool. We're not going to cast it. Ooh, I kind of want to, but I don't think we're going to. No, we're not. We'll allow that. No block. Another land. Holy smokes. All right. Now in this situation, can we pump? Sure, why not? Let's just pump it. We're going to take out his Drake. And get into damage. We are tapped out though, which is pretty big. But considering the lead that we're in, we do a, we do have a commanding lead at this moment. Opponent scoops. There you go. Sorry guys, I didn't mean for my phone to go off like that. Silence it. All right, let's get into another one. Mono blue aggro. This deck is nasty, it really is. Took a bit longer than expected. Galukba. We're against Galukba. We don't have much to protect there. We do have a siren. Do you got the curious? I. We're going to log in that as well. I think we'll keep this. We'll see how it plays out. Siren Storm Team are going to lead things off. Not the ideal starting hand. So let's see how we do without the ideal starting hand. Oh, it's down to 18 already. Let's try a Curious Obsession on it. If we can get that off without a counter, that's pretty big. He just said no. Alright, so he must have been sick of playing these kind of decks. Understandably so. Understandably so. Let's just get, let's just jump right into another one. Look, we earned a pack. Hooray, we earned a pack. Hooray. Don't forget tonight, we will be live streaming on YouTube. It's going to be a heck of a lot of fun. Uh, probably around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, maybe even as early as 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Somewhere between 7 and 9, I'd say, is when the start time will be. Polania! Polania! I like that we have a Tempest Gin, but really nothing else to help get things going here. I think we're going to mulligan just once, see where that takes us. Not very far. Mulligan again. Dive down. All right. 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 We're going to keep that. Oof. We are, uh, we are kind of down and out right now. We do have a mist cloaked herald in hand. Something to flip things back to our opponent and a wizard's retort. Spell abuse. 
His cloak cannot be blocked. Seeing gruel, aggro, or seeing gruel colors is really cool. As long as we don't see some other colors in the mix right now, we should be really good to just take our opponent to, uh, to PT. What is PT? Someone will figure it out. Uh, playing Arena is, um, going up against people who are, uh, who take their time. Or they're just learning the, the, the deck, honestly. So we're gonna Curious Obsession on this. That's gonna really kick things off here. That extra card draw is huge. Take action. Another Wizard's Retort. We're really, really looking for a Wizard's Retort here. We need something really to protect this guy. If he has a Lightning Bolt or a, even a Shock, I mean, we're in trouble. Let's attack. Let's see what we get. Lands are good. Lands are very good. Wizards retort, but this is not a wizard. We're going to end the turn. Really, we want to try to slow our opponent down here. If we can. I'll pass it. I think we're going to opt. I don't see any threat right now. I think we're going to keep that third island. Beautiful. Oh, too many islands. Oh, we got four islands now. Yikes. <clears throat> so here we just, again, attack. Take the action. Not looking good. Opponent, I think, has a lot of very high casting uh, cost creatures in hand. I think we're going to see something now. No. We're going to counter that for sure. <clears throat> that thing would easily just wreck us. So right now we just want to keep control of the matchup. Marvok Trickstar. We will attack again for two. Card draw, take action. Essence Capture. Not bad, honestly. We will pass the turn. So we can Merfolk Trickster or we can Essence Capture here. Or even Wizard Retort, depending on what happens. Or even Spell Pierce. I mean, there's a lot of things. That's non creature, though. You want to keep your options open when you're playing this deck. Ooh, no, 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 no. So this will really help uh, accelerate. Because uh, we're going to get the, the counter spell plus the two plus one plus one counters. Opponent scooped. He said, nope. Really powerful deck. Definitely a powerful deck. I'll probably play this in rank later on, but right now I just wanted to give an example of how to run it. How to play it, how to use it, the potential of the deck. Obviously, the potential is through the roof because it just finished uh, uh, first place and it continues to top eight in uh, in other events. Surfcaster, let's go, baby. Mm, nothing that cannot be blocked. I like having that with a Curious Obsession. We do have a Curious Obsession, though, which is really good. So we're probably going to start thing off, things off with the Siren. So, the Tempest Jin, we have yet to utilize the Tempest Jin. Ooh, up against the whites. Could be, could be gangster here. Could be gangster. A little curious obsession on it. Swing in. We do have a dive down for protection. There's that card draw. Another Jin. Ooh, that is gangster. So if he does try taking this out, we can easily uh, counter it with the dive down and protect it. That's going through. Not counter it, but protect it. Terramander again. I think in that situation... Oof, I don't want to really just drop that yet. We're going to play the, the Tempo Control. We're going to drop the Terramander. Honestly, I think times two. And then we can always counter. Or not counter, but use Dive Down. 
card draw. Probably should have waited to see what we drew here. So that's another land. No big deal. Pass the turn. Nothing in our bin yet. Nothing in the bin. If he tries to take out our siren, we are going to dive down instantly. Oof. Strong card. Pass the turn. No blocks. Pass. Now here is good, because we can drop our island and get a Jin out. Merfolk Trickster is always fun. But we... Actually, let's see what happens here. Let's see what we draw. Maybe something we can really use. A land! Another land! You don't say. Alright, so end step... Or not end step, but uh, second main, we're going to drop Tempest Jin. And we do have takedown to protect. Does the opponent have an answer? I can see why. I hated playing against this deck, but I can see how how powerful it is and how irritating it is. Diverse this deck. This is definitely one of the most annoying decks that are out there, for sure. We're, uh, oof, do we dive down on that now? Or we let it die? Because he could, he could easily shock our... our oof, yeah, we're going to protect it. Did not need to do that, but now that it opens up, our Siren Storm Tamer can easily be targeted if he has another spell. A shock, anything. He's got the Healer Hawk. All right. Another hand, baby. All right. We are definitely going to tap down his Healer Hawk here. And then swing in. Got him down to three. Now we can bluff having a spell. Let's see what we get here. Another curious obsession. Oof. I think we drop another Jin here. Let's just overwhelm him. Unless he has some crazy board wipe this turn. He would need another uh, white. He does not have the board wipe. So I think that's game. Is that game? And also, just so you guys know, this was my first time ever running this deck. Ever. He will take it. Okay, he's going to take out the Shin. Ooh, look at that. That is brutal. It's a good game. Good game. I'll say good game to him. Good game. Now, we can block here. I guess we might as well do something here. Yeah, we got him. Unless he can ex severely pump up the jam here. It's going to come really close. Got him. Just barely, though. Really cool to see that other card. Um, see him utilize that other trick there in the deck. All right, guys. Let me know what you think of the deck. Is this a deck that just irritates the heck out of you? Because it irritates the heck out of a lot of players. I am one of them. Whenever I go up against this thing, I cannot stand it. So there is that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, we'll see you later, Skadoosh!